Hi guys. So I'm gonna do the heart Hannah that I asked you guys on Instagram. I'm gonna answer some. Sorry it took me so long, but I'm actually gonna, wait, have I said this yet? Oh, Jimmy's here. I said it on Instagram, but he's been here for like three weeks now or something like that. Um, but yeah, he's staying for a little over two months just for the holidays. But yeah, I'm so happy he's here um, and I will let him answer one of these questions with me just for fun. And if you guys want us to do one together before he um, goes back to Berkeley, then just let me know. What do you like most about yourself and why? Um, um, I like that I, you know what's crazy? I think I spend so much time thinking about the things I don't like about myself that thinking about what I do like about myself is, I like my lips. <laughs> Um, personality trait, I like, uh, that, I like that, I, I like, I think I like that I, um, when I really want somebody, I will do everything I can to have them in my life. What do you do when someone is really condescending towards you? Oh, this happens to me a lot, actually. Um, I don't really know why it happens to me a lot. Um, cause I'm like the kind of person I just really don't like, I get really, really nervous. Like my heart beats really fast. And when I have to either stand up for myself or like confront someone about something, it just makes me really, really nervous. And I tend to just brush things under the rug, then feel that nervousness. It's so weird, like I legit, I feel nauseous when I have to do stuff like that. So I tend to just sweep things under the rug, which is not great. Um, but when someone's really condescending towards me, honestly, I just stop talking to them. <laughs> like um, my way of dealing with it is just showing them that if they're gonna be like that around me, then I don't really wanna be around them and if they ask me why, then I guess at that point I would tell them, but I'm not gonna bring it up first. It's just not my personality. Yeah, I'm not, I don't think that's like the proper way to handle it. This is just what I do. Maybe the proper answer would be to tell them that you don't like to be talked to that way um, and then see how you guys can problem solve from there if you can. That's probably the mature answer, but I'm just like, nope. I'm not gonna answer your texts. I'm not gonna hang out with you. I don't want that kind of person in my life. How to stop judging others. This was actually like hard for me and it's still kind of hard for me because I feel like we grew up where, especially girls, I feel like we grew up thinking that we need to pit ourselves against each other and everything is like, who's, who's prettier than who, who's better than who. I don't, I don't know if that, same intensity is um, perpetuated as much amongst um, guys, but I feel like for women, I felt like that growing up, like I had to be better than other girls and that kind of made me feel like I needed to, it made me judge other girls a lot more. Um, anyway, so I kind of like tell my, like catch myself when I do it. If I think something badly about another person, I'm like, oh, why do, why do I think that? Why do I do that? Am I like jealous or why am I thinking this way kind of thing? And that kind of helps me stop it in, in its tracks, keep it from like snowballing and, and strengthening and feeling. Um, so just like kind of slap yourself in the face, like be like, hey, recognize that you're doing it and then, and then try in the future not to do it. Like every time you recognize it, just stop yourself from doing it. What I do is I stop myself from doing it and then I think of like three compliments for that person. It's especially hard because like sometimes, this sounds really bad, but sometimes on social media, I feel competitive obviously, even though there's obviously enough space for all of us. Like I'm like, oh, why is she doing better than me? Or um, what does she have over me kind of thing? And like, um, it's a very unhealthy way to think and I'm, d I'm doing it a lot less um, now because I feel like I always tell myself, why did you think like that? That's really mean and you would hate if someone thought like that of you. 
Um, so, and then I tell myself to give that person three compliments. Um, eventually I get over it, but yeah, I still do it sometimes. I catch myself doing it sometimes and I'm trying to grow out of it. So hopefully that helps. I think I've answered this before, but I'll answer it again because I'm not sure. What are your thoughts on soulmates? Would you consider Jimmy yours? Are they real? Um, I think the are they real part definitely depends on the person. I think, do I believe in them? No. Is Jimmy mine? Maybe, maybe one of them. <laughs> I, I don't believe in like one soulmate. I believe in like a lot of, no. I don't think he's my soulmate. I think that we met at a good time, decided to make it work and love each other enough to work really hard at being together. That's what I believe. Like I believe that it happened and this is the reality and I'm happy with it. Like I want to be with him and that's it. <laughs> I think that there are plenty of other people in the world that I would be happy with as well maybe in a different way um but i don't really want to explore those options you know okay i feel like i didn't explain that very well what i meant to say like what i was trying to say was that i don't believe that we're like destined to be together i just believe that in this timeline if there are alternate timelines like him and i are together and in this timeline, we want to stay together and we work really hard to stay together. Um, and even though it's a lot of hard work, like we personally, I, I won't speak for him, but I feel like the hard work is worth it. And in that I want to like be with him because I love him. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's as clear as I can put it because I feel like maybe that sounded like so not romantic at all because i feel like people want that once in a lifetime romance kind of thing which i do think jimmy and i have i just don't think that it was destined um i think we made it happen so and i like that idea better that we made it happen nobody else did not the universe or whatever so yep okay bye continue how you came to love your monoliths. I have monoliths and struggle. I struggle all the time. Um, I still do. Like I know, I know that um, it's just one of those things that like comes and goes. So some days, like today I'm okay with them. Yeah, I'm okay with them today. Um, but there's a lot of days where I tell Jimmy like, oh, I just feel like my eyes are so little and like they are so droopy. I look sleepy. Like that's how I feel. Um, and I don't like them and then you know I get down in the dumps about them but then I try and also I also like follow people on Instagram who have monoliths that I think are really pretty and kind of push that those um what am I trying to say I'm trying to have that kind of beauty on my in my life more so like Instagram I stroll stroll through a lot so I try and follow p people with smaller eyes like mine or hooded eyes like mine um, just so I'm not only seeing girls or guys with with big double eyelids do you know what I mean and then in that way it kind of makes me feel the more exposure I get it's like the more pretty I think it is and so the more comfortable I've been about my eyes. I will say though, I've been, don't judge me for this you guys, I've been very um, contemplating just getting like an eye lift right here. Like I guess, I guess it's like sucking the fat out or something of your eye. It's not really sucking it, but that's the only way I can explain it. And it kind of just like um, makes your eyes a little less droopy. And I've been thinking about it for a year now. I'm actually considering doing it because I've been thinking about it pretty consistently. Um, I don't want to get rid of my monolids because I think I've actually grown to like them most days. I think I just, I'm very uncomfortable with kind of how much, how much skin is right here. Um, please don't judge me for it or like tell me that it's wrong or anything. Um, it's a decision that I'm still thinking about, but I think it's okay to think about and I think it's okay if I do it, you know? I just don't want to be like, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I feel like everyone would understand, but 
I just feel like I had to say it, but yeah, I don't want to like get rid of them or anything. I just want them to be a little lifted. I might not even end up doing it, but um, I'm just being honest. Like I haven't come to fully, fully 100% every single day. I love the way they look, um, but for the most part, I feel like I've gotten more comfortable with them. Do you check Jimmy's phone sometimes? Mm, like very rarely. Um, when he's, when he, like sometimes if he gives me his phone to do something, I'll do it and then I get distracted. I'll scroll through his photos or his Instagram, but I don't like go into his phone with an agenda. I'm not like, let's go into your Instagram. Let's go into your messages. Let's go and find these people that he's talking to suspicious. Yeah, I'm just like, I get distracted and I'll like just stroll through his photos and stuff. Um, and also it's like fun to do that because he has like photos of his time in Berkeley when I'm not there. And like, I'm like, oh, like when did this happen? Uh, what did you do? And he, then he'll tell me stories and it's like, we're catching up. Do you also have a hard time orgasming during penetration? I don't know if I'm alone in this. I don't think you are. I actually think a lot of women you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like a lot of women don't orgasm just through penetration. I feel like there's got to there's got to be a lot of a lot of things to warm up the engine. I feel like there's you just got to do you got to put in the work, you know, for a woman. You got to put in the work to please her. So don't feel weird if because like I feel like movies and porn or whatever just really distort the reality of like having sex and you're not just you're not just going to do it if he just puts it in you it just i mean maybe but like i feel like a lot of girls that's not how it works like there's you gotta do a lot of things you know you gotta figure out what works for you what makes her happy you know i don't know how else to explain it <laughs> but yeah don't feel like don't feel weird about it just like explore your body because then i feel like you get to know it more and you can see what works for you and what doesn't I'll ask Jimmy to answer this one with me. He's in the living room. I'm texting him because he has his headphones on so he can't hear me if I call him. Hello. We're matching. Oh, yeah. Except you're wearing like a very summery shirt. You wanna say hi? This is the first time they've seen you for a while. Hello. Oh, I thought you were gonna give me a kiss on the cheek. Okay. So, I, wow babe, you look really nice. Like your mm -hmm. skin looks really nice. This is the last question, you. Mm. Do you and Jimmy have specific boundaries regarding space to grow as individuals too? And you answer, apparently you know the answer. Bang, you know the answer. You're like, you're always like, oh, I just need some time to myself. Can I, can I hang up early? <laughs> Cause like, I've just been on the phone all day. It's not that I don't want to talk to you. I just don't want to be on the phone. I mean, yeah, I do. I think I like, I do need my alone time. Um, like, I don't know, I just like, sometimes I like just heads down, like doing things that I want to do or trying to learn things or focus on certain things. Um, and I guess in general, like in a relationship, I feel like I've been very independent. I don't know, I guess I've always felt like it's important for us to keep growing as individual people, especially since we're still just in our 20s and like this is when a lot of people grow as individuals. Maybe you know what's crazy? We've been, every time we've done like a relationship advice video, we've just, we've always said, we're in our 20s, we're still young, yeah. we're trying to grow up. Babe, we're in our late 20s now. No, 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 we're just, it's still the 20s, we're still in our 20s. Age is just a God, number. and then we're gonna die. I don't have boundaries, but I do have things that like, like, when I'm washing the dishes, I don't want you to hug me. Mm. Yeah. When I'm angry, I don't want you to rub me in the same spot. Like, I have things like that that he wants to do to help me, but I, I don't like it because um, physical touch is my last um, love language mm -hmm. for receiving. And so we've, we've, we've talked about that. Like, I'm like, we need to learn how to come, you need to learn how to comfort me without, without yeah. irritating me. <laughs> <laughs> I always irritate her. <laughs> Isn't that funny? No, it's just because you're always, mm -hmm. you just do it in your mm -hmm. love language. You gotta do it in my love language. Okay, your love language be my love language. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really have that many boundaries, but it is around like, I think more around like physical touch because you don't, I feel like that makes you but feel I'm like I'm trying to touch you more. And, I know, but that's my love language. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.